Hello, friends. Now let's solve three similar questions. My calendar one, my calendar two, and my calendar three. So, I、uh, implement a、uh, my calendar class to storm your events. A new event can be added if adding the event will not cause a double booking. So you see, we will call a method named book, and、uh, have a, a start time and end time. If we can book that、uh, event, we return true. If not, we return false. Uh, once that event has a conflict with previous events, uh, let's see this example. Um,、mm, first we book、uh, a event from ten to twenty. We return true. Then we try to book fifteen、uh, to twenty-five. We return false because, uh, you see from the time. Fifteen to twenty, we already booked. So if we try to book it again, we just return false. So that means when we try to book a event, we need to know its previous event and its next event to see whether、uh, we have enough space to book that event. So we better use a data structure to. Save the older the event. Uh, let's say we save the time of these events, and there is a good data structure in Java that is tree map or tree set. So let's think uh, uh, whether we need to use a tree map other than a tree set. If we only save the start time, we also need to know when it ends. So we have to use a tree map, and the key will be its start time. The value will be its end time. And when we try to book an event, we will first get its previous event and its next、uh, following event. If the current start time is later than previous event's end time, and、uh, the Current end time is earlier than the following event's start time. I will, ah,、uh, we will return true and add that event into our calendar. Otherwise, we return false. So okay, let's just、uh, write the code. We will use a tree map. That will be integer, integer. We name it booked, and then we will initialize it. Booked new tree map. Then we will、uh, get、uh, its previous previous time and the following time. We should write integer because there may、uh, it it may be none. So it will previous equal to booked get start and the next equal to booked get end.、Uh, we need to、uh, make sure. The current event has no conflict with previous and the next event, so it should be end. If previous event is uh known or we get its end time, booked get previous end time is less or equal than the start time, and the next time equal to known or booked uh no, because we just need to compare the start time. So the next is great or equal than end time. We have to return true, but before that, we need to put that event into our tree map. That will be start time and end time. Otherwise, return false. Oh, no, 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 no! It's wrong. Um, let's see. We can then start time. Yes. Oh, sorry. This should be start because we just save the start time, not save the end time. Hmm. Ah,、oh, I made a mistake because the previous should be the flow, flow key, not just a get. So that be flow key because the previous so. It should be its flow, so flow key start, and next should be the uh ceiling key. Uh, 
great or equal, then uh, ceiling is ceiling is greater than the start time. Okay, let's see the next question. That should be my calendar two. Uh, in this question, a tri if the uh, we trigger a triple booking, we return false. Otherwise, we just return true. That means we can book one time twice. So this is ten twenty will return true, and fifteen six will return true, and ten forty we also return true. But if we try to book five fifteen, we return false. So can we still use a tree map to solve this question? The answer is yes. But the difference is in this time we can book one time twice. So we need to save the frequency of the event. So it seems like uh, for the tree map, the key will be a time, also the start time. But this value seems to be a frequency. But we also need to save the end time. So how do we combine these two uh, requirements? Because we need to take use of the older the feature of the tree map. So when it is the start time, we let frequency plus one. But when the key is the end time, we just let the value frequency minus one. So um, that means when you meet a start time, we know the active events uh, increment by one. But when we meet an end time, we know we can decrement uh, uh, active events. So we just need to check whether the, we have an uh, active event that is great or equal than three. If yes, we trigger a triple booking. So we cannot book that event. Um, so our algorithm is we use a tree map to save the time time point and its uh, responding frequency. And uh, when we try to book a event, we first uh, uh, change the frequency. We make the start time frequency plus one, make the end time frequency minus one, and we iterate the all the frequency and. Uh, Accumulate that frequency. Once an uh, active uh, event is great or equal to three, we return false and uh, we debooked, uh, we unbooked that event. So let's write it. That will be tree map, also integer and integer. That will be booked, and uh, we will initialize that booked new tree map. Okay, we will try to book that. Put to start and uh, book to get or default. Default that will be start and zero plus one. And uh, book to put to end time. Book to get or default. And zero minus one. Okay, we also we needed to accumulate that. Uh, Active events equal to zero. Then we iterate all the frequency in the uh, booked values. Active events plus frequency. If the active events is greater or equal than three, we unbooked that uh, event because we cannot book that. Uh, we let the start time book to uh, get the start minus one, right? Because we plus one this time we minus one, and the book to put end time there will be book to get end time plus one, and we return false. If not, we return true. Yeah, we return boolean. Yeah. Okay. Uh, for the third question, we just need to uh, because it want to get the k 
K，K is the um common to all K then, because that means a return one, and this is also return one. This return two because uh between the time ten to the twenty we have two events, so it just need to return the maximum booking. Largest integer cell exists a k booking in the calendar, so we just need to change the this part. We will get a max, and uh, uh, every time we need a sum to plus its frequency. If the sum is greater than the max, we update the max. So finally, we just return max. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.